Before continuing this video, I want to remind everyone that there will be spoilers of the whole story ahead. So please, watch at your own discretion. Many people have reported that they have seen a red man or red cannibal appearing in front of the yacht and vanishing without a trace, as you can see in this clip. Who is this unknown being that resides on this peninsula? What purpose does he have in this story? Many have figured it out, others haven't. But this red man is the same inhabitant that kidnapped Timmy. His name is Dr. Matthew Cross. Near the end of the game, the player stumbles upon an underground facility after encountering a large mechanical door. This facility belongs to none other than the Sahara Therapeutics, where Dr. Cross researched and performed experiments that involved children. His studies and position in the company were terminated once he was caught abusing the equipment. His daughter, Megan Cross, died in a homicide with an upright gash located on her spine, which this autopsy report shows. Prior to the incident, Dr. Cross was going through a divorce with his wife. It is believed that he may have been an abusive father and husband as a restraining order by his wife is found along with this picture of a monster drawn by Megan. Perhaps all these events took a toll on his mental state. It is not proven, but it is possible that he murdered his own daughter. This shrine, along with this note, shows that he was mentally unstable. So why is he covered in red, and what was his purpose of kidnapping Timmy? As you can see here, when the player picks up this bucket, he covers himself in red paint, much like Dr. Cross. Afterwards, when the player confronts tribal cannibals or the common cannibals, they sometimes kneel and start to hum a tune as though they are worshipping the player. Even Virginia herself, the spider mutant, is surprisingly non-hostile towards the player. Although there is no explanation for this, it ties into why Dr. Cross painted himself red. It is how he managed to get around the island without any casualties. So he's not a cannibal? Not at all. Timmy would have died instantaneously if Cross was a cannibal. In fact, this picture drawn by Timmy shows that he's taking care of Timmy as if he was his own son. Speaking of Timmy, why was he kidnapped? Well, Dr. Cross's true motive was to take Timmy to the device that he was caught abusing called an obelisk. The obelisk had the ability to bring Megan back to life in the cost of Timmy's life. He was a grieving father who only wanted his daughter back, but unfortunately his plans would turn against him. 